Hey guys, for today's 5-Minute Foray, here are 5 sci-fi movies for your viewing pleasure. What do you think? Give them a watch and let me know in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next one. Spectral tells a story about a military expedition force that encounters unexplained phenomena in a war zone. I love the design of the digital and practical effects by Weta Workshop. The actors all gave professional solid performances, and Bruce Greenwood definitely amplifies the production. I really enjoyed the first act of the film because it was a plausible build-up in tension and story. However, for me, some of the magic was lost because multiple pivot points in the film just don't quite sustain the weight of the narrative. Still, I enjoyed the visuals and performances, and the ideas and the premises of the film were really cool. What do you think? Give it a watch and let me know in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next one. Underwater is a 2020 film about a crew of an underwater drilling station surviving mechanical failure of the station, and some other things. Kristen Stewart, of Twilight fame, plays an engineer working on the drilling rig, and she gave a solid performance in this one. Not sure why they went with Chester Bennington look for her character, but hey, it seems to work. I was genuinely on edge during the scenes where the group was forced to suit up and trek outside the rig. Some of the dialogue may be lacking at times, but the pacing of the narrative is constant, leading the viewer through the story. The production design of the station and the suits was very well done. Fun fact, the dive suit weighed a hefty 140 pounds. What do you think? Give it a watch and let me know in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next one. District 9 is a sci-fi story about aliens who have arrived on Earth 30 years prior. Over one million aliens from the mothership are situated in a sprawling shantytown on Earth. Wickus is a human from the multinational corporation who oversees the removal of the aliens from District 9 to their new home in another district. When Wickus accidentally ingests a chemical from one of the alien's shacks, he starts to transform into an alien over a matter of days. In short, I love this one. The effects are fantastic and hold up very well, even though the movie was released in 2009. Fun fact, Peter Jackson and his crew, of Lord of the Rings fame, produced the film. What do you think? Give it a watch and let me know in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next one. Edge of Tomorrow, starring Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt, is based on the Japanese novel All You Need Is Kill, about future humanity battling alien invaders. The innovative hook with Edge of Tomorrow's story is that the alien mimics have the ability to reset a day, a short time jump to the past. Tom Cruise's character, William Cage, obtains this same power after defeating one of the mimic aliens in a battle. The design and execution of the exosuits and military maneuvers contribute to the functional feel of the world. Wrap it up together with solid performances and an engaging story, and you have a thoroughly enjoyable movie. What do you think? Give it a watch and let me know in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next one. Perhaps one of the most iconic and innovative sci-fi movies in the last 25 plus years since its release, The Matrix was a sleeper hit in 1999. Neo, the main character, is a software engineer by day and a hacker by night. His intellectual curiosity encourages him to follow the right rabbit and see how far down the rabbit hole goes. One might describe the Matrix as lightning in a bottle due to its practically perfect balance of philosophy, hard science fiction, and action stunts throughout the narrative. Status? Highly recommended. What do you think? Give it a watch and let me know in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.